and this is Ms. Campo, fourth grade teacher at Davis Elementary. Ms. Marvin and I are so excited to bring you a little bit of poetry. And this is from the book called Joyful Noise, Poems for Two Voices by Paul Fleischman. Now, this book is pretty special because the way that it's written, there are two columns of text. And one speaker is supposed to read this column while the other speaker reads this column. So in the end, it sounds a little sing-songy with one person saying these words while the other's reading these, sometimes together, sometimes saying different words. So even though Ms. Marvin and I are not in the same room, we thought we could use a little technology to put our voices together and read you some of our favorite poems. So the first one we'll read for you is called Grasshoppers. So picture grasshoppers in your head as you listen to this poem. Saps rising. Grounds warming. Grasshoppers, grasshoppers are, are hatching, hatching out. out. Autumn laid eggs. Splitting. Young stepping. Into spring. Grasshoppers, grasshoppers hopping high. Grass, grass jumpers, jumpers jumping far. Vaulting from leaf to leaf, leaf stem to, to stem, leaf, stem to stem, to stem grass leapers, leapers, grass bounders, grass springers, springers grass soarers, soarers leapfrogging, leapfrogging, long jumping, grasshoppers. All right. This next poem is called Water Striders. So picture those little bugs that stay right on the surface of water and they're able to move around staying right on the surface. So picture those as you listen to this poem. Whenever we're asked if we walk upon water, we answer, of course, to be sure. It's quite true. Whenever we're asked if we walk on it often, we answer, quite often, each day, all day through. Should we be questioned on whether it's easy, we answer, quite easy. A snap. It's a cinch. Should we be told that it's surely a miracle, we reply, boulder dash. Rubbish. Nonsense. Whenever we're asked for instructions, we always say, come to the pond's edge. And do as we do. Put down one foot. And then put down another. Resting upon the thin film on the surface. Believe me, there's no call at all to be nervous. As long as you're reasonably mindful that you... But by that, that time, our student, student, no matter how prudent, has, has usually, usually, don't ask me why, sunk, sunk from, from you. you. The next poem is called Fireflies. Light is the ink we use. Night is our parchment. We are fireflies. 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 Flitting. Flashing. Fireflies. Fireflies glimmering. gleaming. Glowing. Insect, insect calligraphers. calligraphers. Practicing penmanship. Copying sentences. Six-legged six scribblers, scribblers. Of vanishing messages. Leading graffiti. Fine, Fine artists, artists in, in flight. flight. Adding dabs of light. Bright brush strokes. Signing the June nights as, as if they, they were, were paintings. paintings. We're fireflies, flickering, flickering fireflies, fireflies. I love picturing fireflies while reading that one and thinking of them as painters and writers writing on the night sky. Oh, so lovely. This next one is called The Moth's Serenade. And you'll see it's a little interesting. It Makes the moth into someone who's in love with light. Porch, Porch light, light, hear my plight. I drink your light like, like nectar. nectar. Dream of you by, by day. day. Gaze in your eyes all, all night. night. Porch, Porch light, light, bright paradise. I am, I am your seeking, seeking, circling, circling sighing, sighing night. You, you are, are my soul's my desire, soul's my desire, prize, my eyes, delight, porch light, light, my shining star, my compass needles north. Keep, Keep back, back, they say. say. I can't. 
Don't, Don't touch, touch, they say. I must. Porch light. Let's, let's clasp. Let's, let's kiss. Let's, let's marry for a trice. Porch, porch light. light. Let's, let's merge. Let's meet. Merge. Let's live for love. For, for light. light. This next one is called Honey Bees. And this one's pretty fun because we have two perspectives the perspective of a worker bee and the perspective of the queen bee. Very different. I will be the worker bee who has to work very hard. Ms. Marvin, she can re rest and relax as the queen bee. Being a bee is a joy, is a pain. I'm a queen. I'm a worker. I'll, I'll gladly, gladly explain. explain. Upon rising, I'm fed by my royal attendants. I'm up at dawn, guarding the hive's narrow entrance. I'm bathed. Then I take out the hive's morning trash. Then I'm groomed. Then I put in an hour making wax without two minutes time to sit and relax. The rest of my day is quite simply set forth. Then I might collect nectar from the field three miles north. I lay eggs. Or perhaps I'm on larva duty. By the hundred. Feeding the grubs in their cells, wishing that I were still helpless and pale. I'm loved and I'm lauded. I'm outranked by none. Then I pack combs with pollen. Not my idea of fun. When I've done enough laying. Then weary I strive. I retire. To patch up any cracks in the hive. Truly, a bee is, is the best worst of all, all lives. lives. All right, and our last poem for you is House Crickets. So, crickets that live indoors. Mm -hmm. We don't live in meadows, cricket, cricket, or in the groves. We're house crickets living beneath this gas stove, cricket. cricket. Others may worry, cricket. cricket, about fall. We're scarcely aware of the seasons at all, cricket. cricket. Spring to house crickets. Cricket. cricket means no more than the time when fresh greens once again grace the floor. Cricket. cricket. Summer's the season. Cricket. cricket. For pie crumbs. Peach, pear, boysenberry, quince, apricot, plum. Cricket. Pumpkin seeds tell us. Cricket. cricket. Falls arrived. While hot chocolate spills hint that it's winter outside. No, no matter, matter the, the month. month we stay well fed and warm. Unconcerned about cold fronts and wind chill and storms. For while others are ruled by the sun in the heavens. Whose varying height brings the season's procession. We, we live, live in a world, world of fixed Fahrenheit. Cricket, Cricket, thanks to our sun. Our unchanging, reliable, steadfast and stable. Bright, bright blue, blue pilot, pilot light. light. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this read aloud. And I hope you're all having a good time at home, staying safe, and reading a lot of good books in this time. So, take care!